or you see numbers. And this one I'm holding, we call this one soft face mattress. Because we tie this one to the wall. Sorry, this one is yeah. surface patterns. Because you tie this to the one. And we use this type where there is no provision for what? For network. Uh, no, where there is no provision for network design in the building. Where you need to lay your wires. Can I move on? Yes, sir. So, what else do we discuss that day that I'm not sure you guys? Mm, yes, so, the next component we are moving on to today, after your partridge, I told you that we are moving what to the cable. And the only type of cable that we use in intercom is called what? Four cable. The spelling of the four is F O R E. Four cable. So, F O R E. Move four cable. We now have different types of forking. We have different types of forking. Based on the conductor inside the forking, we have two types. We have the conductor inside the forking. We have two types. We have what we call the stranded cables, and we have what we call the core cable. As an upcoming installer. I would advise you that you use the core and core means the spelling of that core is C O R E. Means there will just be only one single conductor inside. And the major reason why I'm uh, telling you guys that you should use that type is that it's easier to work with that type. You can just peel it up and screw it. It's either you are screwing it or you peel it up, pull it, cut it, put it inside the pin. It's very very easy to work with. Although it has a major disadvantage, it's more expensive. It's more expensive, but it's very, very easy to do. To work with. It's more expensive, but it's very easy to work with. The second type we have, we have the stranded type. In the stranded type, we have strands of wire. It's not only wires that will not be inside. There are some kind that we even remove wires and wool inside. If I see it, I'll show you during the course of my podcast session. That one is that one is very very cheap. The advantage is that it's very very cheap. By 300 meters, it's very very cheap because they're part of the cost of the cost of the cost. But the disadvantage is that it's very very difficult even to peel the insulator to separate the insulator from the conductor. Then it's well out of so to separate the insulator. From the conductor is well out. Are you guys? Yes, sir. Can I move? Yes, sir. Then, next after that, we now have four cable based on color code. The first type we have, we call it based on color code. We have one we call. Band stripe colors. Band strip colors. Band strip color means like the one that is going right now. When you see blue, you will see stripe of blue. When you see orange, you see the stripe of orange. It is bright. For every color that you see, there is always a stripe of it. In PS. There is always only the stripe of it. And is in pierce. And the other one, we just have solid colors. We just have the colors. We will not have when you have blue. We just have blue. You have brown, and you have two white. It's not left for you to start separating which white belongs to the other one. We have the band strip colors, and we have the isolated colors. That one you just have blue and brown, then two white. That one is sometimes you need to test for the conductivity to know which white are you using for which. You know, if it's band strip, you already know that you don't have two white. Yes. One is blue or white, the other is brown or white, or orange or white. Hey guys, it's that. So that one, you are more, you are, you are, you are less assured. 
Are you guys seeing this? So that this belongs to this, this belongs to that. So you know the one belongs to two, thirty, four, five. But in the pure white one, you need to first confirm which are you using. Are you guys seeing this? So next after that, you now have cable based on peers. Table based on pair. When we are talking about table based on pair, meaning the numbers of pairs of wires that are inside. Other that one, we have the one pair, although one pair is not that common again. And in one pair, how I many wires will be inside? Yes. You just have two wires inside. You just have two wires inside. In two pairs, how I many wires will you have inside? Four. In four pairs, how I many wires will you have inside? In ten pairs, how I many wires will you have inside? Now, let me move to the next one. You know, I told you something about line. I said the line is what? Okay. Is your communication link that has what? The transmission and the receiving and carry a complete core. You know, I told you that if I have communication, can I have line that a single wire that will have more than 10 lines inside? But for the scope, for the scope of this training, for the scope of this training, let's deal with a line in terms of transmission and receiving. So let me start by saying, you know, which number is our main line in your color code? Which pair carries your main line? Oh, the pair one. Pair one. And what's the color code of that pair one? Blue and black. Blue. I mean, red and green. Red and green. Blue, blue and, and white. white, or white. Yeah. And the redundant line is what? Pair Pier two. three. Redundant. Pair two is redundant. Pair two is redundant. We are telling you don't use it at all. Are you guys with me now? There are two ways now which you can design it. You can decide that I want to use main and redundancy. Meaning that for every line you are carrying in this setup, you have how many wires? Four wires. Yes, sir. Oh, this thing is not mixing up. If you do not do the assignments, it will start mixing up. And for those that have done the assignment, you get one too. So I can decide before even I start laying anywhere I need that my first sit down and decide. Do I want to use a pier? Do I want to use two pairs? If I'm using a pier, it has an advantage, it will reduce the cost. But there is no room for redundancy. Any slightest problem on one of the two hours that you are putting on, you are laying. For your cabling, the whole setup is what that particular line will collapse. Assuming we have 081 to 08, let's say we have 081 to 088, just eight lines. Anywhere I'm wrong, it's going for individual lines. But for your as an upcoming installer, it's better you use two pay. Because if there is a problem for your mail, you can easily move to what? Pier 2, which is our redundancy. You guys go and say that. So I will not be talking much on mail or redundancy. And in two pairs now, how many wires are you going now? Four. Four. So let me now ask you a question. If I'm not using 20 pairs, how many lines will be inside my 20 pairs? And I want to use on um, want to use main redundancy. Uh, you use main I said I'm not talking about just one line. I'm talking about Four hours. This one, five lines. Okay. That would be five lines. That would be five lines now. Five lines. I said you must consider the dance. Twenty. Ten. Five. Ten. Why is your own ten? Because if you use two. You don't know? I said you assuming we give room for the drone dance. So they're using four wires at the same time. So we are using four wires at the same time. We are using four wires at the same time. So 20 divided by four. It means five lines. When there is a thing I want you to understand that in networking, the moment you are doing your setup, for every setup you do, you must always leave room for what? Redundancy. 
That is, the redundancy might be, I might want to add more line in the future. I may want to do maintenance. And I need to have a test. I need to fall back to my redundant line as test line. There might be an advancement in the future. Maybe the recline say, ah, I want, I want an extra line to carry maybe fat. Put, you know, like a driver now that is traveling. And we have only four tires. It's an offense in Nigeria. Do you know that? Once your extra time must be in a good and working mode. Whether you use it or you don't use it. Same experience must be applied also to the data As you are designing a network, you must also be needing what? Room for redundancy. Room for redundancy. So, and the major way we do it is that for every four active line, you must keep one redundant. So let me assume now that I want to use 10 PS now, which is 20 wires I use. And I'm using four as my main line. I will keep one as my redundant line. Hope you guys get what I'm saying now. Yes, sir. So if I'm using 20 PS now, in my 20 PS, uh, how many line would I have there? Huh? In 10 pm, how many line do I have there? 5 lines. 10 pm. 4 pm. 10 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 you have 10 lines now. Out of your 10, you, you keep 8 as an active line. And you keep 2, two. as what? As you don't have line. Hey. Yes, sir. Hope you guys are following me. Yes, sir. Although, when you get to a level of expertise, you can decide to say, Me, I'm not using 4 for a line. I can decide and say, I'm using 2. Uh, so, anyway, I'm running 20 pairs like this. My mind is just to sure that in my 20 pairs, I can use it to carry 10 lines. I can use it to now carry 20 lines. Let me say it's, a, it's an hotel where they have 20, maybe 15 rooms. You know, and there are sometimes I want to guys to understand. If I have designed set of an hotel, you know, there are some hotel hotel rooms we have only 14 rooms. After after 32, we have what? We have 64. So if the hotel has 14 rooms, have it at the back of your mind. That they might have what they might decide now let's start to build more rooms so they don't need to now start running after and changing the extension your pbh you must have that plan at the back of your mind you guys are getting what i'm saying now so even if they have 60 rooms you don't need to use 64 channel pbh because you know that apart from room there are some other places that we need intercom like the kitchen like the reception like the swimming pool like the laundry, like security post. That's already five, five plus 60. Then can 64 channel PBS work on 65? Yeah. You guys get what I'm saying now. So it's better you go for maybe D500, maybe D100. That can carry maybe 100 lines at the same time with a full on plug. So you know that after they use that 65, they still have extra 35 lines. So even if the man decide, if the owner or the management of that hotel decide to build another building and put 20 rooms again, you still on entire your PBX, you still have enough capacity to power the extra 20 rooms. What do you guys know what I'm saying now? Yes, I'm trying to reason, although we still get there in PBX, I'm trying to allow us to reason alongside, not only doing the get the job done, but in case of something happening in the area. You don't need us to use to have four channel PBX. That was one of my clients. I tried to encourage you don't use four. Sorry, four extension PBS. They say don't use four, use eight. Say no, 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 want to use four. Later, there is an expansion of that facility where we use the four. You need to apply another four and buy eight. But as long as you have bought eight initially, eight extension, we are rest assured that the whole thing will work. Hope you guys hear what I'm saying. So, everybody understood what I'm saying by like, Let me explain something for you. You already know the cable, you already know the color code and how you connect it. 
next we are now moving to if 20 or uh, 20 ps is moving 20 ps is moving no 20 ps can't just move from a single phone box am i right or wrong even if we have 20 phone box they will not be on the same place one will be there they will be at different points so it means you need two pair to bring all of them together don't be as attentive as possible we have let me use this plate as an example we have how many one two three four five six seven eight we have eight lockers shop here i maybe want to link we want to link this place to that tall building meaning that eight are here we have eight lines that i want to use here Maybe there's another eight on that building. It doesn't make sense to now draw eight of this from here flowing to that building. It's a waste of effort. We can decide to bring all these eight here together to a point. Then now use 20 pairs. Am I right or wrong? To carry, to convey the old signal coming from in the window of this now to that other building. Look at that one thing now. What I just explained now is what we call multiplexing and demultiplexing of signals. When you bring multiple lines to a single bunch of cables, we call it multiplexing. At the other end, when you are now separating it from a single, maybe 20 pair, maybe 50 pair, to individual line, it's called demultiplexing. Put it down. Multiplexing means you are bringing multiple lines from different individual cables to a single bunch of cable that cable might be 10 pairs it might be 20 pairs it might be 50 pairs it might be 100 pairs although at an advanced level you might do it on dsl dsl means digital line so all the 20 lines just come inside one wire bam at the other end we separate it back but at the level of your training let's assume that they are going individually can I move on now? The multiplexing now means at the other end, that bunch that came together, we are separating them into what? Individuals. There is a device that we use for that. We call it M. So one of the middle, that is the next component we are moving on to, MDF. One of the middle function of this MDF is what? To multiplex and use it to demultiplex your impact. That's the one I'm going to function number two that this MBF. Okay, I'm too fast. Write down. Multiplex. You can snap it and put it on. Multiplex and demultiplex. So I've explained multiplexing now. You bring multiple things to a single one. That's multiplexing. Demultiplexing means from a single one. Can I move on? Yes, sir. The second function that this MDF does is that we use it while you are tracing forth during maintenance from a device on it. We can check which number is going through each cable. At least for those that have gone for intercom job, that uh, federal government establishment work, you start to understand what you were doing that time better and better and better. So let me assume, in a job now, you know there are some hotels that we have four floors. Ground floor, first floor, second floor, third floor. Don't forget what I told you. I told you that all the cables coming from individual phone box, we end up at a point. That is where we are discussing batteries, uh, 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 adapting box. That, at that adapting box point, you put something like this. You put MDF there. So each floor we have its own words, MDF. From each floor there is a bunch, maybe 10 pair, maybe 20 pair, maybe 50 pair wires. That will now go to what? To the PBS. So at that PBS we now have what we call another type of MDF. I'm still coming to that. That will now be a bigger MDF. That will now split all the lines. Can I move on? How many functions have I given you? Sure. Number one, more pleasant, more pleasant, more pleasant. Number two, for tra for tracing of number three, it makes your job neat. Send your fire to be flying around. You can put everything and cover it. Basically, 
is your job needs. For those of you that are my friend on Facebook, you can go and see the job that we did in, for that hospital at, uh, what is it called? OD in the nation. The modernization of that. In that hospital, we designed in such a way that each of the world has its own phone box and they can call each other. I'm going to check that video and the pictures of that. Can I move on? How many have I given you now? Three. Three. You use it to trace funds. Multiple, 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 I will use the phenomenon of a candle. At least everybody here has everybody here have used a candle in one time or the other. Am I right or wrong? When your candle is cool at a normal room temperature of 25 degrees Fahrenheit, what happens to the candle wax? It's solid. When you heat up, when you light up your candle, what happens to the wax? It burns down and becomes what? A liquid. Am I right or wrong? Yes, yes, you are. And when we say it's semiconductor, it means it's neither a what a full conductor nor an insulator. It's, it has property between the two. Yes. Same thing, there is, there, is, there is always an isolation bar on your MDF. That when and one of the ways that you can know that there is a fault along an electrical wire, what is it? Electrician. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Spark. You switch off your breaker. How do you know that there is a fault on the lines? Or the, or the cable is not good for that load. And then it it it's it it all. Even before spark or anything, the first thing you notice is that there will be an increase in the temperature of your conductor. Am I right or wrong? Yes. So after the increase in the temperature, it might cause a spark. It might burn the whole system or trip off your breaker. Same also in intercom. That's your MDF. There is a device inside of it that when there is excess, maybe voltage or current, instead of it to spoil your phone box coming from your PBX, it will just break it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, now? And when the when the head is correct, let me use it in a language that everybody you know they say everybody have five minutes of madness. <laughs> So when the head is not correct, it breaks it so that it doesn't spoil it. And when the head comes back to normal, I'm putting it in the name of that, it will what? Connect it back. So it's like when it's liquid, it doesn't allow current to do what? No. And when current doesn't flow to your phone box, your phone box will not get what? Spoiled. Are you getting what, you getting what I'm saying? Now? And when everything comes back to normal, it's what? It becomes solid back. The robot saying, man, it was not a little super. Oh, yeah, when it's. Kilo added on digital. Eh, eh. Magic bear, no cool. Aye, balas. Balas, eh. Aye, guys, with me now. So it performs a function of a semi-automatic circuit breaker that breaks the continuity of your signal when there is any fault along the line. So those are the major four functions I use. Now, what are what make up what we call the MBM itself? The component that makes up all the sub component that make up the MDM itself. So it's good. I'm missing. Does, does it mean that when the 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 signal is okay, that this thing will switch on by itself? It's it's it come back to normal. It will start working. Okay. But if that force persists, it will not work. So instead of your MDF, instead of your phone box, instead of your phone box. It's the MDF that will do what? That will, that will not work at all. So the three things make up your MDF. Number one, this thing, we call it chrome. K-R-O-N-E. Chrome. Chrome. K-R-O-N-E. It's written on it. K-R-O-N-E. This is the chrome. I will still allow it to go somewhere. And this is the thing that actually performs every electrical contact. And it's multiplex, so you want to multiplex it now. 
we want to do multiple signals. We want to trace for to uh, it's a. Uh, it has, it has broken the circuit to this what actually perform all electrical function on your MDF. On your MDF. Yeah. Function of okay, sir. Eh? Yeah. Electrical function. Stand up, Yare. Yes, ma'am. Anything electrical, anything contact on your MDF is the chrome that performs that function. Is this thing that performs the function? So, what's that? Like, basically, sir.